Today I'm going to tell you why a tip I often hear from photographers to newer photographers is wrong. Hey guys, Gavin Syme here, and I have a lot of cameras, new and old, a lot of film cameras that I show here on my channels and reels, and I'm always shooting film and testing film to make filmless presets more real and more authentic. But I have a lot of newish cameras. New cameras tend to be overrated, and I put a lot of vintage glass, like this rocker lens on this Olympus EM5 Mark III, on my Fuji cameras, on, well, on anything. Now, if you look on my camera shelf, you'll see everything from old Polaroids to my Hasselblad with the Nons Instant Back. I love shooting with that. You'll see old digital converted to infrared. A lot of old cameras, because you can get three old cameras for the price of one new, and it's not the camera that's actually going to make the magic. You'll see old lenses. You'll see my film cameras. You'll see all kinds of stuff here. What I hear a lot is that photographers should start on film, that that manual, that filminess should make them a better photographer really fast. And while I love shooting film, it's not practical. Film is super expensive. And I'm going to give you an alternative that's actually way more practical. I can go out and shoot with this Olympus OM2, and it is beautiful and lovely, right down to the shutter sound. It's just a lovely camera to use. You could look at cameras like Nikon, like Canon, like Contax. There's so many great film cameras. I picked up this Konica Auto Reflex with this iconic 40 mil Konica lens. Mainly bought it for the lens, but it's a great little camera too. And it was like $50. But the truth is about film that now it's 20, 25 US dollars a roll just for the film. Then you're paying developing and scanning and all this stuff. There's no preview. You're not getting instant feedback. And frankly, what I would recommend doing is taking the vintage lenses and putting them on your digital cameras. You could grab something like a Tacomar 50. And the thing is with all these vintage lenses is you have adapters, right? You'll see adapters all over my shelves. This adapts the M42 mount, like on this Pentac, like on these Helios lenses here to Fuji. I also have adapters for Sony. I have adapters for micro four thirds, but ultimately these little adapters, fully manual of course, let you adapt all this old vintage glass, whether it's iconic Canon FE glass, the Minolta rocker lenses are not very expensive and they're super great glass. Sure, you can get a beautiful film body like this SRT 2R2 as well, but what happens when you get these old vintage lenses from 35 millimeter or other cameras, but 35 millimeters adapt perfectly. In fact, they almost all fit universally on any of these modern mirrorless cameras with an adapter. And you get that manual focus, those manual clicky aperture rings. You get that manual element that a film camera gives you, but you get it on digital. So sure, go buy that classic film camera, but focus more on the classic vintage lens that comes with it. I think it's actually those manual vintage lenses that people are often really talking about when they say this is going to make you a better photographer. But you can use those on digital. Then when you get to more intermediate advanced and you really want to challenge yourself and you want that organic aesthetic, you can start buying those rolls of film that cost $20, $25 plus developing, plus scanning, all that kind of stuff because you have that passion and you want that feeling. In the meantime, I'll, I'll put some links to some of my free film presets in the description. But take those vintage lenses and you're going to get a lot of that shooting film experience but without the cost, and you're not going to get yourself frustrated going out and just experimenting and practicing. I go out and shoot film when I have a specific intent, or when I'm shooting side by side with digital, or when I know that I'm okay missing the shot. I know I'm going to get the shot because I know how to use film, but it's also going to cost me a lot more. Yes, there's a lot of classic film cameras that aren't even that expensive, like the Canon at QL17s that are worth getting. But what I recommend for most people is get some classic vintage lenses. 1.4 Nifty 50s are amazing. The Olympus, the Rockers, the Tacomars, pretty much any of the 1.4 Nifty 50s you're going to have a great time with. Another one I really like is the Olympus Zucchio 35 2.8. It's a little bit wider, but still not very expensive because sometimes the wide angle ones get pretty pricey. Helios lenses are sometimes old and a little warm, but they have these really neat bokehs and they come in a lot of variations. And once again, they fit on everything. So no, the best way to improve your photography is not to get a film camera. I think one of the best ways to improve your photography, aside from just shooting all the time, is to get classic vintage lenses on your digital camera. Then when you get really comfortable with those, you may want to go out 
and shoot some film. Just a quick thought, because this comes up a lot. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more, and we'll see you next time. Peace.